بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was given five things as it came in a, a, a sahih hadith and one of the things the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was given which no other Prophet was given was that وَأَنْ يَجْعَلْ أَرْضٍ مَسْجِدٍ وَطُهُورٍ That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was given the earth as a masjid and as tuhurin for purification meaning that we can pray wherever is purified in the earth we can pray here in the forest we can pray on the rocks we can pray wherever on Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala spacious earth it's it's a place of prayer it's a place wherever no you, you don't have an excuse because you're out and about you're out hiking you're out uh, traveling you're in the desert where wherever you may be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it easy to worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala and along with that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the earth to hur as well that all of it is pure it's been made pure to where we can make tayammum from the earth so that the asl of the of the of the dirt and the ground is that it's tahur is that it's purified unless something comes with surety to let us know that there's najasa for example someone urinates someone defecates a karamakum Allah or what have you but the asl of the earth is pure that you can pray wherever you need to pray Unless you're praying in a place, of course, where there's uh, the dogs, you see dogs are urinating there or what have you, or in a, a place where they keep uh, pigs or any animals in which that the animals themselves are not pure because they're urinating and defecating there. But the asal, as we said, is that the earth is pure and it can be used as a masjid to pray. And it can be used in a place to make tahara if you need to make tayammum or if you need to make... Uh, wudu from the river or from the lake or from the stream or from the sea as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said when he was asked about the sea he said in uh, in mahu wa hillu maytatuhu or kama qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said the sea that the water is pure and that which is dead in the sea is permissible to eat Letting us know that also sea creatures are permissible as long as they live in the water and there's very few exceptions that the ulama make but as long as they, they cannot live outside of the water they're creatures that totally 100% depend on living in the water then they're permissible to eat even if they died. So for example if you see a dead dolphin or something it's permissible, it's halal for you to eat that. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to benefit from the tuhur and the ni'mah and the ni'am from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.